Hello everybody. Today I have a couple of books that I want to recommend to you guys. And um, the first one I only want to briefly talk about because I really want to get into the second one. Um, so the first book I want to uh, recommend to conspiracy theorists, especially those who, um, who think that the weather is being geoengineered. And um, that book would be The Encyclopedia of Immaturity. How to Never Grow Up the Complete Guide. All right, so now let's uh, talk about the, uh, the book I really want to talk about, which is Drawing Scenery, Landscapes and Seascapes uh, by Jack Ham. Um, <clears throat> so just to give you an idea of what this book is about, I'll read this section here. The how-to handbook that exactly explains and illustrates the step-by-step -step processes for drawing complete successful landscapes and seascapes and teaches the fundamentals of good composition as well as the separate picture elements. This guide combines the simplest kind of scenery sketching with the most complex renderings to give every artist, beginner or professional, essential scenery drawing techniques. And there's more than 900 diagrams, pictorial explanations and pictures in here. So let's take a quick look inside. So this is just giving you an idea how old this book is. It was published in 1972. So yeah. <clears throat> of course it starts off with the with the with the fundamentals. Really good stuff. Uh, let's see if we can flip to something. Here's uh, something interesting, different textures of papers and whatnot. The importance of form. Ground value, variances. Yeah. You know, basically how to how to create depth, distance and depth in your uh, in your drawings, which is really, really essential. Really cool. Um, let's go to a section I really want to talk about. Um, and that's trees. Drawing trees. I I think this <laughs> just goes into so much detail. Uh, first in drawing tree trunks um, and creating the uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the texture of the leaves and whatnot. Very, very simple stuff. Um, you know, different ways to draw tree trunks and whatnot. Or, yeah, and the uh, groupings of trees. distance and depth and <clears throat> geez <laughs> struggling trees it's really interesting 20 <laughs> drawings of the same tree so yeah you can see how in depth in depth this goes and then of course my favorite part of that section is the trees and their parents and yeah, I really like these two pages. Thirty-eight different species of trees that he drew, just to just to show how they compare to each other, different uh, textures and whatnot, and and so forth. Now, let me just read. I really just the uh, first couple of sentences here. On these two pages are a number of common trees, and a few of which may be be. Uh, yeah. Let's try this again. On these two pages are a number of common trees and a few which may be peculiar to your area. The artist, as a rule, is more concerned about how to draw trees in general than he is in becoming a horticultural specialist. So yeah. Um, like I said, it's really good stuff. I really enjoy this book. And yeah. Norway spruce and gray birch. Those are both on the front lawn. Well, this is kind of at the edge of the lawn. This is actually on the lawn. All right. And uh, another section that I really... Oh, rocks. And goes into rocks and mountains and stuff. The other section I really want to talk about is clouds. It even goes into a section about clouds. So, it's really awesome. Um, simplifying cloud drawing. Um, so, yeah. 
really really detailed information on clouds. He even goes and talks about the different cloud formations, um, sunsets and sunrises. There's even a, a diagram, a height a height diagram of clouds, which is <laughs> really awesome. Cloud backgrounds. Um, another section I really like: moonlight scenes. Really, really dramatic. Showing how this rather. You might. I don't know if you used. Uh, do you use an eraser? Oh. So C. This is interesting. Spot in your moon and cloud trim with retouch. Uh, with retouch white paint. Touch the clouds with a slanted brush on stroke. So wow, using white paint to, to highlight, that's really interesting. <laughs> I just use an eraser pencil or some kind of eraser. That's, that's really interesting. My favorite scene, of course, is this one right here. Um, very dramatic, uh, just got like a building and the telephone poles leaning, got these dramatic clouds. Yeah, another, oh, wind as well. Another uh, good section is water, talking about water. Um, and reflections. Something to reflect on. <laughs> and waves, like, like really goes into detail about waves. This is just like, you know. So yeah, a really good book. This is just a you know, brief look at it. Um, I found this on barnesandnoble.com. Um, you can also uh, order it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's a really good book. I, I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah. Alright, um, that's it for this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Um, you can follow me on social media. <clears throat> and I also have my own website. The links are in the video description below. So I'll see you next time. For those of you who are uninformed, this is a snow-covered tree. <laughs>